Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on SAP Business Technology Platform Training with CAPM Cloud Application Programming Model on SAP BTP Platform with me Anubhav. In our last episode, we talked about how can we start a SAP HANA instance into the BTP as a database, as a service and how can we design and develop our artifact to do the build according to SAP HANA. After building our SAP build by creating the HANA specific artifacts from the CAPM CDS model, we deployed into the HANA. We understood the concept of HDI containers and HDI microservice in the last class where we see HDI is fully managed by your application. We also looked at the design time artifacts which are created when it comes to designing and developing your application with the HANA cloud. So we have deployed our HDI container at design time. Design time means while you are developing the BAS tool, every developer work with their private container like Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. Then afterwards we saw the SAP HANA tools, the new SAP HANA database explorer tool in the cloud to access our container and eventually accessing all our database artifacts. We also saw what happens behind the scene when you deploy your uh, database artifacts into the cloud. Basically it creates a CDS RC private JSON file in your BAS tool inside your project so that next time when you deploy, connect, run your project with the hybrid mode, eventually you will be connected through the service key to the HANA database. Ab aage. So what we will see today, we will see today how to deploy your application in the cloud. Remember last class we did not deploy our application in the cloud. We just run a cloud database, we connect our application from BAS tool to that cloud database and we just work with our uh, cloud database from local machine. Local machine is in the BAS tool. BAS tool is like your local computer where you are doing the development at design time. Now we will proceed further and learn about deployment. But before that, there was a query I have received from one of you. Anubhav, I have started the SAP HANA database as you instructed in the last class, I have done every exercise what you taught me Anubhav. Everything I've done as it is and everything is working fine. This is the query I've received. But what happens when I created my BAS project and tomorrow, next day, when I'm trying to run my BAS project with HANA database, I am getting an error. What is the error I am getting Anubhav and how can I solve it? So let me show you the error which my student have sent me over the email, what he is getting and then that will be learning for all of us. So this is the error my student is getting that error HANA database instance is stopped. Why this error comes? Yes, so you can see Mickey Mouse container which we created and it is actually now stopped. Yeah, so what, what is this error and what is actually happening here? Why do you get this error? In fact, even you say CDS watch dash dash profile hybrid when you're trying to run your project connecting to the cloud database because we are now connected our project with the cloud database and in the BAS tool, we will be using CDS watch command but instead of CDS watch command, we will now use the CDS watch dash dash profile hybrid command to run our project in BAS tool locally by connecting to HANA yeah, or HDB in the cloud. So this is the command we run to test our, when you do this, you will also get that same error, yes, which my student is getting. So maybe you, I will also show you this, where did this screenshot was taken by the, you know, by the student. So I will also show you that. So what is the solution to start? So let me tell you one important note here that if you are using BTP trial account, yeah, BTP trial, we all are using trial account. We did not pay money to SAP. We did not choose pay as you go plan. So if we use BTP trial account, which is a free account, 
yes as you all know for learning and training purpose every day at 11:30 am india time which is somewhere around uh, 8:30 morning uh, european time yeah sap will stop our hana db instance automatically yes this is what sap will do because it's a trial account they stop it if it's a productive account it keeps on running infinitely but as long as you're using trial account every day 11:30 am india time they will stop your hana instance automatically so if you trying to run your app from bas or your productive app deployed in the cloud which is connected to hana you will get the error as database instance stopped this is a common issue what people will get often in fact many of my student reported me this same issue so how can you go and start your hana cloud instance yeah how can we do that so let me guide you with the steps of how to stop Uh, how to start restart your hana cloud instance if it is stopped by the way let me show you where where do we know whether the instance is stopped or not actually by looking at our hdi container in the bash tool let me go back to the bash tool now and guide you with the with the step so i will switch over back to the bash tool just give me a moment let me just open the bash tool so this is our business application studio or bash tool which is just booting up i have just restarted my bash tool just refresh also my btp account so when you come to your btp account you literally not get any option here at the moment to start your hana database instance at all yeah so you come here you get no option to start your hana instance which is your hana cloud there's no option here you see there's no start and stop button actually go back here to the bash tool you will get something called sap hana database explorer tools where you can actually browse your uh, hana container also so we saw in the last episode of this training how can we go and uh, access the hana database explorer tool in a, another window where we access our container and our files and everything but there is also an easy way to access your container hdi container directly in the bash tool without switching to a, any other window actually so that also we will be seeing it now if you also come back you will notice here that you have this miki that's your container yeah and there is a service key for this container so of course i will now open the database explorer tool in a minute to show you what issue does you will get every day at 11:30 starting so we have to wait until the dev space starts in the bash tool so now my dev space has been started and hopefully it will open in few seconds for us to continue start developing yes there you go and i'll also change the theme color to black color visual studio code vs code black color that looks much better and i just zoom in little bit so when you come to the bash tool you will get this option here called sap hana database explorer so last class what i did was i press f1 and i choose uh, open hana database explorer this this option i used yeah last class if you check back my last class video this is what i did in the last episode and that's where we access our uh, our container now there's a easy way to access your container once it is created you can also come back to the bash tool directly and choose this sap hana database explorer and under that you are going to get the list of databases and there you go your database connection and there you go your miki container but when you expand the miki container you will get the error as posted by my student that hana database instance is stopped this error you will get it so what is the way to start your hana instance yeah 
what is the way so i have started it already before the today's class so that's why it's it's working for me but most of you those who are practicing this training what will happen after a day if you come back again to the bash rule and trying to access your database container you're going to get an error here that database is stopped so how do you start it so to start it what you got to do is go back to your btp account instance and subscription and subscribe to a special subscription called sap hana cloud tools so click on create button and search here sap hana cloud again and then you have to choose a plan called sap hana subscription tools you see this tools option select that click on create and now a subscription will get created for hana cloud tools yes so this is step number 1 step number 2 once this tool subscription is created you have to also grant yourself the necessary role yeah so it comes with this predefined role called hana cloud administrator role administrator can create update delete access to hana database instance hana cloud security administrator will be relevant for those who will create and delete roles and assign roles to the users and hana cloud viewer role which will offer sap hana cloud service just to view the database instance and start and stop the instance so depending on the need you can grant these required roles to your user so i am myself the developer i am myself the uh, the creator of this hana cloud instance but i myself will not have permissions to access it until unless these roles which are provided by sap are granted to my user so how am i going to grant these standard roles to myself so for that you need to go back to the user tab and select your sap btp user account which is this one for me contact at anuboutrainings.com our official anubout training email id and then i have to grant the role assign role collection yeah if you zoom out actually this button which you see will get uh, get disappeared so some people complain anubo i don't see the button because it's just inside the triple dot it's responsive the screen is adapting automatically according to screen size so don't get panic attacks you can always go back and just check more options we all are software engineers we are not college students we should be able to figure out the the problems that's why companies need to spend millions of dollars of salary package because they are not looking school students they are not looking commerce background or arts background they are looking engineers and an engineer is actually here to do engineering job to find out right solution of the of the problems yeah so be smart don't 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 act like a call a school student or college student act like an engineer so the options are always there it's never like sap have done coding according to your username that if your user is accessing the environment then options are different so you need to be smart so we need to go to the uh, assign role collection and then we need to come down and see here these standard roles wow so for time being i'll grant all the roles to myself and assign them very very important step otherwise your hana cloud tools will not work again yeah people miss out these steps often after that once we are ready we are going to switch over back to instances and subscriptions and then launch the sap hana cloud tools yeah click on that it launches another tab where you can see hana cloud central tools and in few seconds you just have to wait on this screen actually yeah just have to wait on the screen so sometimes there is a issue with identity provider like login or something yeah just have to kind of wait here and just press enter key or maybe just have to do a quick refresh and we should be able to see our database instance over here yeah we should be able to see our instance here so it says you are not authorized to view the content so maybe i can just sign out and sign in again because i have granted the role and i just have to log out and log in once again to see my database instance over there and that's when i will be able to go ahead and start my database instance which was stopped 
after every 24 hour as mentioned by by us in the timeline yes so you have to come back and wahala you can see this is my sap hana cloud instance in the btp account which is currently running for you it will come as stop let me show the screenshot how does it look like for you after 24 hours so you see it look like this is stopped so what you got to do you got to go to the more options triple dot and click on start yeah click on start so you can come back click on more options and click on start so for me it's already started why should i stop it yeah but today again at 11 30 india time it will get stopped automatically yes so you also have lot of options because you are also yourself a database administrator now as per the rule you can also launch the database explorer cockpit from here yeah so that is what we can do so hana studio is a deprecated tool going forward this is the tool which we all use when it comes to managing and uh, taking care of our entire database yeah is there a way to use hana explorer from hana cloud central yes you can also come back here and you can just launch the hana database explorer so from here directly not possible but you can launch it again so sap hana database explorer you can launch it again from here and it will go to the same screen what you saw in the last class where we can see our container our artifacts and now you also get this nice login screen so the default username is db edwin and the password is the one which you gave at the time of you know configuring first time your hana database instance your new hana cloud instance that's the password so what i gave i will provide that and i will just connect yeah so this is the way you can launch hana database explorer tool from hana cloud central tools also so this is the way to start and stop your instance after 24 hours uh, one of my students have sent me this question and today i answered it i hope you will be able to now manage your database instance in the cloud quite easily with the hana cloud tools